is it more important to maximize your potential with every single item with your reselling business or is it better to keep the cash flow going and we're going to discuss that today welcome to flipping and punching and today we're going to pull some orders we get about 25 orders to pool we sold about 1400 dollars worth of stuff but I also want to talk to you guys too, and I've been debating this going back and forth about these Disney pins. And do you guys think it's better when you're running your business, is it better to keep the cash flow going to make the, uh, what they say, the fast nickel or the slow dime? So, you know, I can list all these things, items on whatnot and try to move them real fast and take um, less money for them. Or I can put them on eBay trying to maximize my profits. So we're not just going to talk about you know my whatnot, but we're also going to talk about overall just general with your business and uh, how it's important to keep the cash flow going, when to do that and when not to do that. So let's jump. All right, so let's pull some orders first. We sold 25 orders for about $1,400, so pretty good. You know I was pretty sick over the past week, so I haven't really worked that much, which sucks. And that's one thing we don't talk about a lot in the reselling business when you are when you do work for yourself full time. You don't get vacation time. You don't get sick days. So, unfortunately, you know, when that does happen, you can have to make sure you prepare ahead of time. But uh, let's pull the first order. First order we saw, we uh, sold this slot car. Um, I got this in a big lot of slot cars I picked up. Um, I did run a, a discount on my store this weekend to try to help sales. And we sold this for $49.99 plus shipping. Because I was sick this past week, and I wasn't really working that much. I put my store on a 10% discount for anything over 30 days. Anything over 60 days got a 15% discount. Anything over 90 days got a 20% discount to get things moving. And it had a great response from it. I sold a lot of items. I also got about 60 other watchers on my items. So when the promotion ended on Sunday, this morning I actually sent out about 60 more offers. Uh, best offers. So hopefully those will pay off over the next day or two. So we'll see. So next item we sold is a Nintendo Switch game. We sold, this is actually from Limit Run, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Limit Run. Um, they're a company that takes digital games and they convert them to physical games. But this is an RPG. I think we got $21.99 for this. This came in a mystery box. I bought a bunch of mystery boxes from them uh, probably about a year or two ago. And I think I paid like $19.99. So pretty much breaking even on this one. All right, so next item we sold, we did a major pickup. You guys haven't seen it yet on... On, I'm not sure what channel I'm going to put on because I wasn't able to film the actual pickup. I did film after everything I did get. I got 103 Funko Pops and about 32 AEW figures. So we sold a Kenny Omega figure for um, $13.99 plus shipping. Here in F5. Where is that? Which one's that one? Nope. Nope. Brody King. Here. This one in here. Trent, nope. Where are we what the hell? There it is. Kenny Omega. Alright, so we sold this Kenny Omega figure. I got three bucks into it. We got $13.99 plus shipping. Alright, so you guys saw the video we did last week about all these empty boxes, all that Louis Vuitton stuff. I still have those empty boxes. I still gotta figure out something to do with them. Um I did start listing a couple on eBay, and uh, so we'll see. I don't know. I just gotta move. I need the space, especially we want to start blowing out some stuff and whatnot. I need it. I need space. I need a working area. Right now, I don't have an area to work, and it's very frustrating. So, but we did sell more of those um, hangers. So we sold nine Louis Vuitton hangers for nineteen. No, I'm sorry for hundred. No wait, what the hell are we sell for? We sold nine Louis Vuitton. Um, garment hangers for $99.99 with free shipping only I never do free shipping but every other listing had free shipping that's the only time I'll actually do free shipping shipping's gonna cost me about probably about 20 bucks and we should make about 50 bucks off it um I had two dollars per hanger so I had about 18 dollars invested in this 20 bucks per shipping plus about 15 bucks on eBay so probably about 40 45 bucks in profit so Louis Vuitton these are the hangers here so hey so for you those that are full-time let me know what you guys do when you're sick or you guys go on vacation do you guys have someone that helps you out someone to work for you 
normally what I do is anytime I have a vacation, I usually work like like 10, 12, no, I actually work probably like 12 hour days the week before and the week after I get back from my vacation. That way I know my business is set up to succeed when I'm gone. Also though too is when I get back, I know that I have a lot of work to do. So I don't know, let me know in the comments what you guys do. All right, next time we sold is this. It is a Boba Fett. As you can see there, Boba Fett. Mini, mini figure from Lego. Um, I think we got uh, $19.99 for this. So it came in a big lot. It was actually kind of a bad buy. I bought them. I, I overpaid at a yard sale thinking that these were the first gen um, Lego Star Wars figures. And I bought all like the planes. Everything was open box. And because uh, I've sold them before and I made a killing off them and I paid too much. So at this point in time, I'll make a little profit. But what I'm going to try to do is probably separate the minifigures from the actual um, ships and play sets. Sell the play sets at a discounted rate and then try to maximize my money just selling the figures separately. So we'll see. See how it goes. But uh, we got 20 bucks for this plus shipping. So let's talk about when you're running a reselling business. You need to keep the cash flow going. It's very important to keep the cash flow going with your business at all times. And, you know, I invested $1,500 in all these pins. And majority of the comments I got from everybody was to put them on eBay and, and sell them slow. So what I did was I actually took a handful and put them on eBay. I did get some watches on them. I have yet to have any sales yet. I wanted to test the market. I put 80 and whatnot last Friday. And out of those 80, we actually sold out all those all the pins we had an average sales cost. We had one that sold for 40. We had a couple sell for five bucks. I put everything at five bucks because my buy cost was about $2.50 each. Minus the fees. Of it, I'll still make a small profit on them even at five bucks. And we sold $737 worth of pins. Minus the 10% and whatnot fees there. We're probably walking away with, I don't know, six, 650, 625, something in that ballpark. So we got rid of eight. So we almost made back half our money, took us an hour and a half, and we blew out those pins. So my biggest thing here is is to keep the cash flow going in the business. You know what I mean? I want to get, anytime I make a big purchase or big lot buy, I use what they call the 80-20 rule. I want to get back 80% of my money for 20% of my items. And how fast can I get my money back? Because I need to keep the cash flow going because you never know when the next buy is coming. Literally, I had another buy this week. You guys haven't seen it. I talked about it early in this video, but I ended up spending another $600 buying action figures and Funko Pops and all this stuff. And I may have a, a card buy coming up here soon. So, you know, when these opportunities arise, you can't have your money tied up. I am right now on the leaning toward the side of the fast nickel over the slow dime. And if I can sell. Let's just say if I can do five more auctions at 80 and if I can average 70, say, let's say 700 bucks per auction, that's $3,500 minus my $1,500, that'd be $350 in fees. You know, I would still walk away with roughly about a little under $2,000 in profit. That's not a bad return, you know, for, for those items there. So, I don't know. I'm still going to wait and see. I'm going to do another whatnot tonight um, at 7 p.m. I'm going to run about 100 pins. I'm hoping to accomplish to get back all my money after this auction. So, after that, then I can decide what I want to do with the rest of the pins. But, you know, when it comes, comes to things like this, you got to keep the cash flow going. It's very important for your business. All right. So, next item we sold was a pair of ASIC gel running shoes. Um, I paid three bucks for these. I pulled them out here already from the bin. But we paid three bucks. I mean, these things are brand new. I don't think they were, they may have been worn once. They don't think they're ever worn, but um, I paid three bucks for these and I got $35.99 plus shipping. All right, so we sold a comic book. This is part of my graded comic books that I was sending off to CGC. For those who don't know, probably in 2021 and 2022, I submitted hundreds and hundreds of comic books to CGC to get a professionally graded. I probably spent over 10 grand getting grading fees. And now I'm just sitting back collecting the money as all these do sell over time. Uh, there are slow sellers because you need the right collector for these. But the uh, comic book we sold was Alpha Flight number 51. Uh, and part of the reason I think why this sold is Jim Lee. This is the first cover art by Jim Lee. And Jim Lee is actually doing an autograph signing. This is actually a 9.8. 
So I'm assuming they're gonna buy this and submit it to get autographed and sent in and then re-slabbed. So I literally bought this in a massive collection. I have probably about a quarter invested into the book. And then the grading fees were about 30 bucks. And they this sold for $229.99 plus shipping. We did sell this Star Wars Cool Miss uh, humidifier. I bought this at a yard sale for five bucks. It is brand new. And we got 35 bucks plus shipping. One thing that you guys need to know is that Christmas items sell great all year round. And uh, people are afraid to ship blow molds. I love it because they are so easy to ship. They're very light. Um, just put them in a box and you're pretty much wrapping bubble wrap. You're good to go. But we end up selling this. This is a 20 inch gingerbread man. I got this at a yard sale for free. When I first started doing YouTube, I went to a yard sale that was everything was free. And it was all Christmas stuff. And we, me and my wife were just moving. So we got a bunch of Christmas stuff for the house. But they had a whole set of blow molds. So I ended up getting all the blow molds. We made like seven, eight hundred bucks off the blow molds. And uh, th this one we got, I think we sold for $44.99 plus shipping. Quick pet break. This guy is sleeping on the couch. Willow, say hi. She's tired. She just went for her W. I can't say the word because she'll go crazy and want to go for another one. All right. So next comic book was actually in my office here. But... It is a Fantastic Four number 348. This is when Spider-Man and Wolverine and the Hulk and Ghost Rider. I think this is the become the new Fantastic Four. But it's a 9.6. We had this on 20% discount. This item ended up selling for let's say like $72 and some cents plus shipping. Alright, so next item we sold is a PSP game. It's from the uh, WF SmackDown. Um, I think this was on my big sale. Let me look here. Yeah, ten dollars and thirty-nine cents. Um, this was actually when the items was on sale. It's in D three, so let's pull it. Um, oh, actually, we actually sold this too. I think we sold this for man nine ninety nine maybe. We actually sold this in Macari and how we actually sold this in Macari is we actually crossed this all of our items using this perfectly. If you guys aren't using this perfectly, you guys need to. Uh, down in the description down below, use the code picking and punching and you get a 30% discount off. But it is probably, it's a game changer for a business. It takes all your items that you, that's listed on eBay. You can easily cross list them to like Poshmark and to uh, Macari and on Depop and other platforms. So highly recommend you guys do that. It's a good way to expand your business, especially if your business is slow. So we sold this for $10.39. Uh, this was actually on a 15 or 20% discount. So. But yeah, uh, we paid about a probably about a buck or two for this. Keep an eye out for PSP games, PlayStation Vita, any of the Sony handhelds. Sony does not have a good track record with their handheld systems, and they are usually very limited. And because of that, their games are very valuable. So always look out for the games. They usually all bring some kind of, some type of decent money. All right, next time we sold we sold a Neil Diamond hat. Um, this came from that big lot of. Hats I bought at the uh, yard sale where the guy got it from a DJ up in Delaware. All right, back here. Nope. That's a gray one, I think. Okay, uh, Neil Mill, not Neil Diamond, Neil Young. Yeah, Neil Young. We got $39.99 plus shipping for that. We actually use an AI background for this one. So if you see the, I'll put the picture here on the screen, but we put the picture over some rocks. It looked great and it's so pretty fast. I will tell you that these AI backgrounds are really starting to help out our, our sales. I just started testing them out with the clothing, with the hats and stuff like that and the shoes. I'm going to do more of them here in the future. So next item we sold is we sold some vintage Hanes crew neck shirts. They're brand new in the package. Believe it or not, like vintage Hanes, vintage underwear, vintage boxer shorts, Finches socks. That stuff actually sells good. When people find something they like, they will keep and continue to buy it. I had it listed for twenty four ninety nine on eBay. Someone reached out, sent me an offer for ten bucks. I said that I can't go that low, but I'll do fifteen for you. So we got fifteen bucks plus shipping. I think they're in here. Hmm. It's freaking each one. Shit. I don't know where this item is. Not an H1. 
I'll have to look for that one later. Maybe it's in one of these other bins. All right, well, this sucks. I have no idea where those items are. So I will start pulling the rest of the orders and hopefully maybe when we pull one of these other bins, it'll pop up. But yeah, I thought they were in this uh, container. I guess they're not. All right, so if you guys saw my last picking video, we bought, we bought all, all those condoms at the flea market. And I really wasn't sure about those because I never sold condoms before. And condoms wasn't something that I was planning on selling on eBay. But, you know, when the opportunity arrives, you got to take advantage of them when you can. And they have been selling like hotcakes. So I think we have another three or four orders here. So let me pull these out. All right, here is all the condoms here. So we sold bear skin, lubricated, 10 count. We got $9.99 in free shipping on those. These items are only four ounces, so they're gonna ship super cheap for like three dollars and maybe like eighty cents or something like that. So, all right. So next one is a pack of regular, just regular Magnum condoms, and these were for nine 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 plus uh, nine 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 with free shipping. Which are these right here? Nine 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 with free shipping, right? The next thing we sold is a box of XL Magnum condoms. I think it's a twelve count. That is a twelve count. We got eleven ninety nine plus shipping. So, so far we have sold four boxes of these and they've only been up for a couple days and uh, we've already made back all of our money. So this is all pure profit now going forward. And the good thing is look, these don't expire to 2027. So we have time to sell them. But the way that they're selling, they're going to sell pretty fast, I'm assuming. All right, so next item we sold is actually in A5. Now, you guys haven't seen the footage of this yet. Um, this is when I went to the flea market with ADH Dave and uh, Philly Flipper Paul. This was over Labor Day weekend, and I bought a big bag of patches. And I've done really well with patches in the past. But what I noticed is I've actually sold these in the past. They were some vintage 70s and 80s sports patches. And what I did was I um, took them out and broke them up by team. So I paid 60 bucks for this massive lot of them, and I just sold the first lot. Is it, uh, Baltimore Orioles right here. There's 23 in here, and I think I got $39.99 plus shipping. Instead of selling all these individually, what I did was I put them in massive lots, and I was hoping that a patch reseller would just buy them to move on. Because, yes, I could just put them up there and have them listed sell one by one, but at this point in time, I'm really shifting my business to be a little bit more of a wholesaler, where I can get a large amount of money for smaller lots of things and i'm kind of liking that that business model going forward so we'll see i don't know i mean certain items like the condoms and i'm not going to wholesale those out i'm actually going to sell those individually so you know just i guess it depends on the item and what i want to do with it but you know with these patches they had a little bit slower sell through rate so i decided to lot them up instead of uh selling them individually this goes back to what we were just talking about the fast nickel versus slow dime i go took those patches put them on ebay sold them individually probably four or five bucks a piece and probably made 100 bucks or i put them in one big lot and sell them off for 20 for 40 bucks you know and sold them right away if i would have put them individually they would have sold over the next year you know but i'd rather get back two-thirds of my investment right off the bat so i can use that money to reinvest back in my business so i think it really comes down to the certain items you have and how fast they're going to reach how fast they're going to sell also too is with your business model how you know do you need the cash right away? I mean, I don't need the cash right away, but at the same point in time is I don't want items sitting around. Now, they are smaller, just like the Disney pins. You know, they are smaller. So that, that was a really tough decision for me. They are small, so they're not going to take up a lot of room. And I think that if I was in a different position with my business, if I didn't have this massive mess going on right here with all this stuff needs to be cleared out here, I got to clear all this out so I can have a workspace. Once that's done, maybe I'll change it up and start doing more. You know, if I would have bought that Disney lot six months in the future, maybe I would have pieced it out and put it on eBay to just get this the slower sales and get that money really cut, coming in there. We sold all those pins, 84 pins on whatnot last week for $737. Came out to $8.37 a pin. No, $8, I'm sorry. Came out to $8.77 a pin. I have $2.50 in each pin. So that means I was making a profit of over $6 per pin. The quick turnaround, I move those pins and make six bucks a pop on those items and to go through 80 of them right away in one night, it's very appealing to me. So I don't know, man, going forward, I got, I got to really try to 
reevaluate my business model. You know, I'm going to be doing more whatnots. And, you know, I think I'm going to do the whatnots. Focus more on the whatnots right now just to move merchandise, which is great for you guys because I want to wholesale stuff out. And by doing that, you guys get some great deals. So I have so much clothing that I haven't even touched yet and some other items, but we'll get that later on. But let's pull some more orders. Probably one of my favorite pickups this entire year was I went to this uh, yard sale and I bought a couple of blow mows, but they had some National Lampoon's uh, Christmas ornaments here. And we just sold actually uh, one of them on eBay. Uh, which one is it? This one right here, I think. So I think we just sold this one. We have this for 99, oops. We had this listed for $99.99 on eBay. We paid 10 bucks. It just sold for $89.99 and we had a $10 investment to that. So that is a great return. Nash, if, for those that don't know, Christmas Vacation is by far my favorite movie of all time. So I, I am a massive Chevy Chase fan, but he did such a great job in Christmas Vacation. It is a staple in my household that we watch it every year. Um, when me and my wife first got together, I, I don't think she saw Christmas Vacation before, so we ended up watching that that Christmas probably like 10 or 15 times. So, or we tried to watch it. Yeah, so it's one of my favorite movies, so I absolutely love it. I actually have a sealed VHS I'm going to send and get graded here soon, so love National Christmas Vacation. Guys, let me know down in the comments below. I'm now curious. What is your favorite movie of all time? Is it a holiday movie? Is it a, you know, action movie? Romantic comedy? Let me know. Christmas Vacation is by far my all-time favorite. So as we were pulling these lots, I just got another sale. So we actually sold some Disney um, magnets. So when you're a pass holder, you put a magnet in the back of your cars for the parking garages and stuff like that. Oh, we actually sold this too, so we'll pull that out. Um, here they are. We sold this entire lot. I can see one dollar in the bag. Probably need to swap out that bag. But we paid one dollar for these at a yard sale, and we got nineteen ninety nine plus shipping. It's a whole lot of some vintage ones over the years. This is probably one of the coolest pickups that I had in a little bit. It's a, a Pan Am luggage bag, and we've got it at the recent yard sale. We paid ten bucks for, and we got sixty four ninety nine plus shipping. I think for this, so it's beautiful. If you guys don't know, Pan Am used to be an air it's a it's an airline that's no longer and this was probably given to an employee back in the day we sold another video game over here in d3 uh cyberpunk for ps4 i think why do i feel like i already sold this before yeah this is weird i thought i sold this a long time ago all right so i checked my uh, ebay store it says i sold it on august 17th which i thought it shipped out but i don't remember having a second one The weird, the weird thing is too it's two separate photos like one has an extra insert and the other one doesn't which makes me think i have a second copy of it oh you know what i have to check my office maybe it's in my office because i did have a list of a couple of games and action figures in there that i haven't put out yet so it might be in there that would make more sense so next item we did sell is a master universe toy it's actually um one of the newer releases it's beast man so c1 is where i keep a lot of my action figures in here that looks like Beastman right there. Looks like Beastman. Well, for Beastman, we got $11.99 plus shipping. And I think I paid... This came in that massive toy lot I got. So I'm earning the profits on that toy lot. So it's pure profit. All right, next item we sold is a Cheap Trick DVD, uh, CD, I think. Yeah, so this this wasn't the best purchase. I paid two bucks for this brand new to, at a yard sale. I thought it was gonna sell for more. It only sold for $8.99 plus shipping. The good news is it is super easy to list and super easy to ship, so. Oh, actually I sold some TNA DVDs. Is that in there as well? I don't know. Super Tramp. There it is. Cheap trick. We got $8.99 plus shipping for this. Not the best buy. TNA Lockdown 2009. I did not put a marker on this one. 
unfortunately. So hopefully it's in here. Oh, lock down. Is this it? Yes, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I love when it works out like that. I uh, forgot to put the tote number that it's in and we got 10.99 plus shipping and I probably have like a buck into these. I usually don't pay more than like a buck or two for wrestling DVDs, but I pick them up everywhere I go because one, I'm a massive wrestling fan. I used to do pro wrestling for a while there. And two, pro wrestling stuff does have a lot of value. It can lock things together and I always move anything I, I buy pro wrestling wise. All right, so this next item is one of my favorite things to sell. And the part of the reason for that is because when I go to yard sales and after it's like after 10 o'clock, one of the things I always find is media, books, DVDs, anything like that at yard sales. So buying complete sets or buying lots of box sets of DVDs is something that I always do really, really well with. And the next one is I bought a lot of NCI, NCIS, um, I think it was like 11 box sets. I think we paid maybe 10 bucks, 12 bucks for it. And we sold it for $44.99 plus shipping. When I am selling these, to help keep them organized, I always put a rubber band around the, the different sets. Uh, here's another one here. And pull this on here, yeah. So there we go. We got all those DVDs there for $11.99. No, we sold those for $44.99 plus shipping. Um, that was with our discount in our store. I think we had originally had them listed for $59.99. So, um, yeah, I'm really happy with that. Glad to move those, especially because they take up a bunch of room. And I, uh, they're easy to ship, easy to list. Thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it, man. We are trying to, this channel is growing. Um, we're on our way to break 600. So thank you so much for your support. The goal was to get this to 1,000. So share it with your friends and family. Um, check out our, we have a couple of whatnots coming out this week links down in the description down below We're gonna be doing a whatnot here. I don't know if it's gonna be this week or next week, but we're gonna do it in the storage unit uh, Garage sale thing. We're gonna be just clearing out random items not Disney items just all kind of random great items um, A lot of reselling lots in there too for people, but uh, guys, thank you so much Please make sure you like and subscribe until next time. Make sure you guys keep flipping and punching